Hello everyone, this is Big Alski. And uh, JTB. And this is Chapter 11 of Ball Bade's Master Ninja Karma Run for Ninja Gaiden Black. And this is about as boring as it gets right here. I don't even think our colorful commentary can make this chapter exciting. Yeah, this is pretty boring. Um, it's Obviously it's nothing against Ball Bade, like it's not his fault this chapter is so boring. Um, one thing yeah, I, this I, is I, just a chapter. Yeah, yeah this is yeah, just a right. chapter. One thing I do find really weird is that he he goes to the left on that encounter, um, and not the right. If you go to the right, like you don't have to wait for the other one to come round. Granted, it's probably the difference of like maybe five hundred points, but you know. There you go. Five hundred points for the next guy. Exactly. Um, also, <laughs> is it worth mentioning? Uh, I have no idea what these enemies are actually called. I just call them fish. Um, yeah. But they're worth fourteen thousand in essence if you UT them. Uh, so that like first part, like you know, that's a lot of essence to start the chapter with. So, oh wow! Just yet again, like the amount of essence at this point in the game, they just they're just throwing essence at you. It's ridiculous. I like shooting these guys whenever you have them with the spear gun. The spear yeah, gun. That's cool. <laughs> you should be able to do spear gun UTs. <laughs> don't don't say it because that's all we need is Team Ninja to hear about it. Now he got a good lucky roll there. You know, yeah, that uh, really worked out. Like that positioned him perfectly, like getting hit there. Um, right. But yeah, like this fight is is fairly straightforward. You just want to, you know, use your shurikens to stun the helicopters to get your UTs. Make sure you roll forward there as well, otherwise the UT won't reach that final helicopter. Right. Um, and as well, definitely pick up the scarabs. You always want to get your scarabs on a karma run. It's uh. And again, there's nothing wrong with getting lucky. As frustrating as some of this is, oh, yeah. getting a good bounce every now and then is... Uh... You, you get unlucky far more often than you get lucky. So Right, it's, right. It's definitely important to know. Um, now, here again is, is just something... Maybe he's just wanted to you know, hit this fish a lot, um, but he could have just swapped to the spear gun straight away. Um, again, there's like maybe 300 points for the next guy. Right, um, yeah, here we go. To get. But uh, just one of them things, I think, like mixing it up a little bit at this point in the game. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. These are uh, like once you get past chapter nine, like you know, it gets it gets so hard to keep that drive to do a hundred percent every single time once you get past that chapter because it's just there's so much farming and just random shit that can happen. Right. Yeah. Like in this fight, getting lasered off the helicopter when you're trying to charge your UT. God, I hate that. Well, his timing was perfect. You know, yep. where he hit the shuriken to jump to jump over the laser. Yeah, that's good yeah. shit. <laughs> I was. This was one of my uh, most hated fights actually in the whole game. I really don't like this one. Like it's so like get, even though it's only two UTs, like that's pretty much all you can get. Um, it, it's just one of those fights, you know. Like we, I think we all have them. I just, I really hate that fight for some reason. I think he. Uh, so he dragged the essence. There's a, some fish. Yeah, there's a ghost fish chest out. Yeah. And then make sure you kill all those ghost fish as well, while I think about it. Because if you don't kill them all, um, that pillbug fight encounter won't end, and that will cost you your time limit. Well, it's too bad he didn't get another blue. Yeah, I mean, like I, you can only get so lucky uh, getting blue essence out all the time. Um, but his positioning is really good there, um, with that U like just the edge of that Warhammer UT connecting, and he's able to get another two UTs here. Right. Nice. And there you go. Stop at the nice. Yeah, I, I love again. That. That's such a good being trick. aware of all of that is is so important. I mean, it's hard to you know stress that. Yeah, enough. just being aware. You have to be aware of absolutely everything. The like, I think like a good way of looking at it is like the one thing you forget is going to be the thing that costs you your time limit. Like, and it's always true. Like the one thing you forget to do will be what costs you your points. So. You, know, you really can't afford to forget anything at this point when you're going for this kind of score. Right. The uh, So what's he doing? Just like XX, XX, XX and, then and then Y? y. Yeah, that will take out one of those fish. Um, there's the spear gat. <laughs> no, I love that. Um, you can actually, there's a sweet spot like right in front of those fish. It's on kind of the top. The like If you're going into them head on, the upper left of their jaw... Um, you can actually just hold Ryu there and just do XXXX and you won't actually move out of the way of him. Uh, it's pretty difficult to get that positioning. Uh -huh. um, and, you know, and the kill bonuses aren't really that important. You know, It's only going to be like a couple of hundred points. But right. it's just something to bear in mind. 
Wouldn't it be cool if you could use the Inazuma Nimpo underwater? Like, think how big <laughs> that would be. <laughs> like, you just electrify the water and kill the fish. Right, yeah. You'd probably kill yourself, too. That's what they would do. True. You can use it, but... You can, you know, uh, one thing I always thought was cool uh, was when you activate fire wheels and then jump in water, the fire wheels doesn't go out. Like, it's still there, which is pretty funny. Oh, really? You know, I don't think I've ever tried that. I think that, that's in that's in one of my videos. I can't remember which video it is, but I know that's that's footage of that is out there somewhere. <laughs> I wonder what would happen on something like this if they kept going. Well, uh, I don't think you could jump in. Well, yeah, you could jump in after the uh, the ninja fight right back there, right by the save statue, and maybe came out and see what would happen. I th yeah, I think you can, but I think the cutscene uh, deactivation. Oh, okay, okay. But yeah, because that would be cool to like set these fish on fire. That would be hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> like they're on fire underwater. That makes no sense. Well, I mean, he could have used the spear gun there, but I mean, it, there's really not much point. Like, five enemies on a two-minute time limit, like, you know, maybe like 10, 20 points or something like that. So, you can just use the sword. Well, this is the uh, the fights that he skips in, or postpones, I guess you should yeah, say. Yeah, a better word. For uh, yeah. Chapter 8. Yeah, I mean, there's, there's really no point not uh, to not do it, really. Uh, there's, there's virtually wow. no way you'll get... Uh, three UTs at that point in chapter eight, uh, mainly because you don't have the armlet of Celerity. There it is. There it is. I think you missed oh, it. Oh, dang. Misses it, though, That's uh, what we were talking about earlier. Yeah. And if you notice, the reason he misses that is because his ET actually comes out. Like, you, you see kind of the explosion um, of the ET. And that's what you, you know, you want to release it, you know, just before that happens. I love the way this cat gets stuck um, behind this, like, door here. I think it's so funny. <laughs> He's just trying to run away, like, no! I oh, can't go out there. Yeah, here we go. Wow, we're already at the Doku fight. Yeah, that's yep. that's a, it's an exciting chapter. It is, yeah, it, it really is pretty short, too. Um, Doku is fairly straightforward. Um, just use your Inferno Nimpo uh, to kill the ninjas. Uh, really important as well, I don't think we mentioned it yet, but like, keep your Inferno Nimpo at level 2. You don't want to upgrade it any further than that. Um, and then you just need to land like a low health UF UT on Doku to start the rest of his help spawning, and then just use the Nimpo and use your Luna to get the rest of your UTs. It's a pretty pretty simple boss fight. When everything goes right, it's pretty simple. <laughs> right. Wow, so he's... Uh... Again, this is better than speed killing, I guess. Yeah. It's, uh, it's, like, it's like a perfect blend of the two, because you're speed killing, but you're getting the UT points as well. And I think that's the only yellow he gets, which is a pretty good success rate. Right. But there again, that's 3,000 points for the next guy. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Really? I've just seen so many bad things happen, you know, that... Again, there's nothing wrong with getting a little lucky. Yeah. But a great fight, you know? Yeah, great fight. Apart from that ET, that really was yeah. flawless. Like, there's, there's no real way to improve on that. So 30 minutes is the time limit, 45 is the kills, and we will see you in Chapter 12. Thanks, JTB. Thanks again, man. Okay, guys.